donations from pharmaceutical companies to transgender activist groups saying that this is okay for a 15 year old to be able to do. So like, let's find some common ground. Can we at least say, wait till you're 18? I disagree. We're going to be reacting to Charles Kirk humiliates long head for trans liberal students. Well, guys, you see the way I did it? Like, it's... Mm. Well, guys, if you're new yet, then you should like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Guys, what do you think about for trans people? Like, I honestly believe they're going through a lot, especially mentally. But guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Let's get straight into this. I'm going to cite a discussion you had with a commentator I do follow, Bosch. Uh, you remember yeah, that? I debated him. Hard, yeah. hard to forget. Yeah. You guys look alike. Yeah. Gotta love the white denim jacket. Looks horrible. Very funny. Yeah. Um, in that debate, I agree with what he said there of, that's not really, I feel like, a valid point in this instance, because my take is nationalized pharmaceutical industry. Oh, okay, right. But so, but let, let's put that aside. In that instance, that doesn't but really work. Do, let me ask you a question. Would it bother yeah. you that a company stands to profit a lot of money to get kids to do something they can't reverse. I think it's bad when a company does like anything that is coercive. So in that instance, yes. I okay, but that. that's what—that's the pusher of this stuff, though. Like the Boston Children's Hospital, Nashville. True. What? What? Hold on. The hospitals stand to make a ton of money. This is true. Right. That's how. Okay, so 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 that true. make you doubt a, doubt a little bit. Like we don't have nationalized health care. You want it? I don't. But okay. Yeah. But exactly. when I see a big company that is pushing this on kids or stands to benefit from it. Then, when you're saying pushing this on kids, can you elaborate a bit on that? Yeah, I mean, for example, they are normalizing through donations to transgender groups that this is okay. Mm -hmm. Donations from pharmaceutical companies to transgender activist groups mm -hmm. saying that this is okay for a 15-year-old to be able to do. So, like, let's find some common ground. Can we at least say, wait till you're 18? I disagree. I believe that in instances where not getting that surgery could lead to suicide or oh, okay, okay. So let's ask, yes. this is a provocative question. Do you Go think ahead. they might have other mental health issues besides gender dysphoria? Oh yeah, a lot of people. Yes. Okay, why don't we address those first? A lot of people often do. Most of the people who okay. are going for these surgeries are already in therapy. Right, but would you agree that benzodiazepines and other psychiatric medication is probably not the first intervention we should use for kids? when they're 14, 15, or 16? It depends on the level. If someone is like actively almost about to kill themselves, I would say- Okay, fine. It depends is a mature answer, by the way. I, I respect you for that. Yeah. So you, my position, I think you'd understand is kid, kids are worthy of protection. Yes. Okay, if you're 20 years old and you're an adult and you want to make this decision, don't call it medicine. You could call it cosmetic. Can okay. I ask you a question? Yeah, sure, fine. So I'm going to go back to circumcision because this is again a point Okay. Should we outlaw circumcision until, like, if someone wanted to get circumcised? No, be, like, no, because there, first of all, there's there's religious reasons for it. Second of all, there's there is a conflicting. I've, I've actually looked into this quite a lot. There's a there's a conflicting amount of hygienic data too, saying that it's it's better to circumcise a child. Can I ask a question? But there's other data to to, to, to oppose it. Sure. Are you in favor of female genital mutilation? Absolutely not. That's it's one. a religious practice. With, and, and a rather and a rather cruel one. Yes. Yes. I would argue but, that but there is, is also there is no there well. is no medical upside to FGM though. There is a medical upside potentially for circumcision. Potentially. This medical upside is incredibly minimal though. You no. admit this yourself, I believe. I say it's conflicting. So I don't want to spend too much time on the circumcision debate, but um, closing argument. Go ahead. Uh, I guess my closing argument is trans healthcare is good. I think that fundamentally the best thing for people is people to live their lives right. with agency, freedom to do what so they want. Let me Happiness. can I ask you one question? Go ahead. What is a woman? My simple answer to what is a woman is anyone who identifies as a woman. No, no, but what is a woman? No, tell me what the woman, not, no, don't use the answer in the definition, like the definition, the like what is the word woman? Woman is whatever the societal construct of a woman is. Yeah, so what is that? Exactly. I guess in the United States we would have certain... Here, different... what is a woman? In America or in a different country? Answer the question. What is a woman? In America or in a different country? We are in America. At least if I we're in America, think so. Then what a woman is, is what we generally perceive to be as such, which would be someone with right. feminine features usually defined okay. by XY so, chromosomes. So XX feminine chromosomes. features. Yes. Okay. G generally? Generally speaking. Of course, there like, are cis women who okay. are like six feet tall, broad jaw. Uh, you know, big ass abs. You know, there's cis women like that, of course. Right. Yeah. Do, do you think men can become pregnant? Uh, men can generally not become pregnant unless, of course, you know, born XX, transition to male. Okay, so men potentially can become pregnant. Yes, if they are transitioning to male. Guys, well, say yes, she was honest. Let's, let, let's be honest here. Like, she was honest. Like, she actually defined a woman with the XY chromosome and a man with the XX chromosome. Like, she was honest. This kind of person, I feel she knows the truth, but, like, allow 
today's media and some some influencers feed her brain but like she still know the right path like yes that's what i'll say but let's go back what do you think about circumcision like do you think it's right I'm actually circumcised and I feel it's right. I, I feel everyone I know should be circumcised. Like, see, this was more like it's cultural for me. And I feel it's not different from other people. Like, it's different from other people. See, when I started growing up, I started noticing that people actually don't see the world the way I do. And people have different worldviews. And it was not up to the last three years I understood this like effectively like people have different worldviews like people have different i know that they're different religion but like i really don't know that the protestants differently and just chill wait <laughs> please give me time to breathe but like i honestly believe that circumcision is right and based on my religion though i feel if you have a different religion you might think differently but like it's proven to be like something that is good as women, like, it's proving to be something that is good. But, like, guy, what do you think about transitioning kids? This, for me, I would say it's wrong because I honestly believe that most people are going through boredom, depression. I feel depression. I feel people who feel depression or who are scared of dying or who are scared of being left out, I feel it's because of lack of knowledge. And I believe people should be fed feed their mental health like give them information that will make them think about their life like i feel you should motivate them give them books to read that make them understand more about life because i would say most people like this don't understand life in the sense that they really have not read a lot of books for them to see that yo i'm not depressed Maybe I'm not grateful enough, but I'm not depressed. Because if you see people who have fought wars, like, died for trivia issues because of something that does not make sense, you won't be worried about, I feel like a woman, I feel like a man. Like, I, I feel like it's an issue. I'm not saying it's not an issue, but, like, honestly, I feel most people do this because of boredom. And they really don't have where I feel this is the perfect word to use. This is the verse within the Bible, an idle mind is the devil workshop. Because your mind is idle and you start feeding yourself with this kind of ideologies that are wrong. And you just feel, let me experiment it. There are a lot of people who have taken the surgery that requested and the videos, their videos are online, you can see it mostly on TikTok. Like they explain to you why they actually did it. Most of them is because they were bored, they just feel like this is a fun experiment to like try and for the pain like i i feel it's worth it if you feel like that's the way to go but like that a lot of ways to go for you to know that this is what you truly want this is a permanent decision and i believe it should be what you truly want like try all other alternatives this is something i know i do if i don't take a life-changing decision i don't just take it <sighs> like my friend telling me why don't you want to draw it out so i was like nah bro that is a life decision you can't just change it like i can't do it like piercing my ear i can't because then my mom kill me but like <laughs> apart from my mom it's something you just don't do like you have to think and chill make sure this is something you'll be able to like defend for the rest of your life but guys tell me think about this touch the like share subscribe to my channel we'll see more videos like this i'll see you next time guys Bye.